Can you start by telling us your name? James Vogel. Okay, and what have you brought with, uh, with you to the harvest today? I brought some uh, negatives of Milton in 1974. Okay, and what kind of views, what is on the film? It's the whole aerial view of Milton uh, in 1974, but then each area is cut up into a bigger section that you can see the cars and everything in the negatives. And about how many did you bring with you? There's 31 negatives total. Can you tell us a little bit about how old it is and how you obtained it? Well, I was fire chief in Milton, and when they moved the old Burr building to the new Burr building, they had all the stuff in the middle of the room that they were going to throw away. And uh, I said, well, what are you going to do with those negatives? They said, they all go out in the trash. And I said, may I have them? Take whatever you want. So I picked them up, took them. And how long were you the fire chief? Five years. And what years? 62 or 82 to 80 what seven okay thank you and then is there like a family history of fire chiefs or just, just how me. your family relates to milton uh yes we had Vogel's cleaners in milton uh in south front street uh i'm the third generation uh about four years ago that burnt our neighbor's apartment caught on fire and burned us out and then uh, we've nobody, none of the kids wanted it, so I said, we'll just won't build again, we'll just let it go. And um, when was that originally opened? My grandfather started it in 18, no, 1927. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to say about your item for folks unfamiliar with Milton? I'm familiar with Milton, every bit of Milton. I grew up in Milton. I was born in New York. My dad was in the Coast Guard. When he got out of the Coast Guard, he came to Milton and started Vogel's Cleaners in South Front Street through the GI Bill. Okay. And then do you have any final thoughts for people that are watching this interview? Oh, well, Milton has a lot of history and I would like to see it grow again. But after the 72 flood, there was people in that era that didn't want it to grow. And I figured there's no use. If they put the wall up, the dike, Milton would have grew. But since they didn't do that, there's no hope for Milton because nobody wants to build in the floodplain. Was there a lot of talk and controversy about building a wall? About there was some, but uh, the money always got put somewhere else.